Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching JavaScript for Beginners Lesson 27 and in this video we're going to have a quick introduction to objects. Alright then, so JavaScript uses these things called objects and you see objects in all different programming languages but in JavaScript we use a kind of stripped down, simplified version of them. Now, we've already seen objects in previous lessons that have done. Uh, for example, if I make a string, that's an object. If I make a number, that's an object. An array, that's an object. Plus loads of other different things in JavaScript that are also objects. Now, essentially, an object is just a container which encloses data and behavior together where they belong together. For example, if I make an array, that's an object, yeah? And on that array, I can extract data such as the length property and I can extract behavior such as the sort function where we can sort the array into a particular order or the reverse function, etc. So I want you to think of objects like real world objects. For example, um, an object might be a car, right? And a car has properties such as its color or its maximum speed, but it's also got behaviors such as driving or braking or accelerating. Now in programming terms, these behaviors, we'd call them methods of the object. And remember, methods are just functions. So the behavior drive would be a function of the car object, right? So imagine our car was an object in JavaScript, right? We could make a new car and store it in a variable, something like this, say var my car equals new car, right? And that there would create a new instance of the car object. Right now, I can't run this in JavaScript because we don't have an object type of car. If I press enter there, look, car is not defined. But if we did have that object type and we stored it in a variable called my car, then I could call properties and methods on that variable that we give to the car type. Right now, for example, um, my car dot length. I could use dot notation, which is this here. We put a dot after the variable name and call properties on it, such as length or my car dot max speed. Yeah, and that's going to give us the maximum speed of my car. So we can call properties on it using the dot notation. We can also call functions or methods on the car, which is going to invoke the behavioral aspects of that object, such as my car dot drive and that would call a function called drive on my car or my car dot break, right? These would be the behaviors or in JavaScript as we call them, the methods of this object. So notice how the methods have these parentheses at the end and the properties such as top speed don't. That is because these are all properties. They're all bits of information about the car. We're not running any kind of method or function on the car. We're just extracting a bit of information. So we don't need to call a function. Yeah. Now, if we say my car dot drive, drive would be a method or a function of that car. And we call functions, remember, by putting the parenthesis at the end. And then if we need to pass in any variables or parameters or arguments, as they're called in JavaScript, then we'd pass them in here, right? such as, I don't know, 35, that might be how many miles per hour we're going. So that is how we would call properties and methods of an object that we create. Now imagine instead of car, right, because that doesn't exist in JavaScript, we've not made that, we make a string. We've seen that, we can say var my string equals new string. And this is exactly the same way we're creating the car object up there. Okay, so everything applies. So we've made this new string and we can say my string equals hello. Yeah, uh, we're just giving it, oops, not that. I have to put them in double quotation marks. So we've assigned that string an actual string now. Now we can call properties on this called um, length. And that's going to give us the length, or we could say my string dot to lowercase. And that's going to convert it all to lowercase, etc. It was already lowercase, but if it wasn't, we would have done, etc. So this is exactly the same as what we saw for the car example. Okay, so just think of 
objects in JavaScript as objects outside of JavaScript in the real world. We can do all the same kind of things to objects in JavaScript as we can in the real world, right? We can call properties on it and methods. So we've seen creating an object this way, a string object. Now, saying something like this, my string two equals hi there, that is exactly the same as instantiating the my string object right here. It's just a shorthand version of it. We're still creating a new string object, so we can still then call all the same properties, length, or we can call methods such as to uppercase, etc. We can do all the same things with it. It's just that we've used the shorthand version right there. So that is a quick introduction to what objects are in JavaScript. In the next lesson, what we'll do is we'll take this car idea and we'll actually make an object called car so that we can create a variable and we'll give it some methods, oops, methods and properties. So if you have any questions about this lesson, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer all of those. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and share if you like them.